President Trump tweet announced that he was appointing his White House uh, physician, Admiral Ronnie Jackson, to be the new Secretary of Veteran Affairs. And uh, as with most Trump decisions, it seemed like this might be a very terrible bad idea. <laughs> President Trump's pick to overtake the Veterans Affairs Department raising some concerns. If you look at his resume, he has never managed anything significant. Some veterans groups already raising concerns about this nomination. So we are pleased with his medical background, but the health care side of the VA is really only one third of the VA. There's claims, there's appeals, we have an appeals backlog. What's your thought about Jackson? Unprepared, completely unprepared. I'm sure he's a great doctor. Oh, come on, unprepared? They say this about every Trump person. They said the same thing about Trump, and look, everything's going great. Yeah. <laughs> and here's my thing. In my opinion, anyone who has held Trump's scrotum while he coughs <laughs> is prepared for anything in this world. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I think. Like... <laughs> this guy... This guy has probed deeper into Trump than even Robert Mueller has. Don't ever forget that. But, but here's the thing, here's the thing. While fingering Donald Trump's prostate may sound like a joke, the Veteran Affairs Department does not. Democrats have questioned his seeming lack of experience heading a vast bureaucracy, the second largest federal government agency that serves and treats nearly 9 million veterans as patients. Veterans Affairs has a budget of nearly $200 billion and, and boasts about 360,000 employees, assuming this role, obviously, uh, is, is no easy task. And managing a $200 billion a year organization is no small task. You realize that that's bigger than General Motors. Like, you wouldn't say, yo, my friend Ralphie's a great driver. I think he should run GM. Yeah. <laughs> he likes the cars. <laughs> but that's basically what Trump does, right? He wants his personal pilots to run the FAA. Uh, for housing and urban development, he was like, yo, Ben Carson, you're urban, you work. <laughs> and now, for veterans' affairs, Trump is like, he's my doctor, he's a veteran, I have affairs, it's perfect. <laughs> so perfect, so perfect, it works. Oh, and, and it turns out there's another, another Trumpy reason why he gave Dr. Jackson this job. White House officials tell CNN it's because the president was pleased with how Jackson handled questions, praising his health back in January. The president's overall health is excellent. I told the president that if he had a healthier diet over the last uh, 20 years, he might live to be 200 years old. He has incredibly good genes, and it's just the way God made him. This poor doctor, man. <laughs> All he did was report that the president is healthy and Trump was like, my man, I'm gonna give you the hardest job ever. <laughs> this is basically a warning to anyone who works with Trump. You make him too happy, and you will get punish promoted. <laughs> yeah, so be safe. Every time you tell him something good, make sure you add something bad, just to balance it out. Like, this doctor should have said, sir, you're super healthy, almost as healthy as Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and then he'd be like, ooh, you're right in the middle, buddy, you're right in the middle. You're gonna stay where you are, cupping my scrotum. 